Hey, what's up, guys? So since I had the time, I decided to do a road trip from uh, Bangalore to Mangalore. It was pretty fun, actually. We started off at five in the morning, ended up reaching at three in the afternoon. Well, this was because we stopped all over the place for mainly for content. I actually took a lot of pictures and I got a lot of good footage. I'll probably put it towards the end of this video. Anyway, so as of now, I'm at the beach. You can just take a look around and see what I'm seeing over here. Yeah, so this is where we are at right now. So I came in from all the way over there, took the bikes, came all the way here, parked it somewhere up front. Alright, so during my journey, I was thinking about, about dieting and working out, as usual. <laughs> Always thinking about dieting and working out. So either ways, this one thought came into my mind. Like most people can, you know, push themselves in the gym. But dieting is the biggest issue. People often give excuses that, you know, they're working too hard, they're working too late, they don't have time to cook, they can't eat on regular intervals or they can't eat so well at different times of the day. I mean, and they say, you know, me dieting is taking a huge part away from my life. Well, it's absolutely not true. Like, obviously, I'm still on training and I'm still on diet, regardless of me coming all the way here. So what I do is, previous night, I would cook about food for a day. So I would pack that food in Tupperware, put that in the fridge. The next morning when I wake up, pack about three or four boxes into my traveling kit and then leave. So what, what happened was uh, at four in the morning, I had a meal. My ride started at five. So we stopped again at around seven, I had my next meal, stopped again at around 10, my next. Another meal at around one. And the minute I reached Mangalore, I had another meal. So this is what you can do. You can always keep diet. Don't give yourself those excuses. As long as you're organized and well prepared, everything will happen. It's all about, you know, your discipline and how badly you want to see those results. The whole point is, it doesn't have to be hard and a pain in the ass. I mean, you can have a really good fun, do what you love doing, enjoy yourself, travel, go for parties, go, I mean, do whatever you want to do and still keep diet. It's all about you and your willpower. And it's all about what do you want to do. In fact, even if I have to go late out at night somewhere, I would just pack about two boxes of food, take it out, spend time with my friends, eat my food there, enjoy myself. The whole idea is for me to have fun and not to sit at home and crib about what other people are doing or if it's bad or if it's good. I mean, I don't want to judge people, right? It's my life, it's their life. I do what I want to do, they do what they want to do. So my whole idea is in spite of me dieting or in spite of me doing what I love doing, I still make it a point to have fun and, you know, carry on. That's all that matters, as long as you're happy doing what you're doing and as long as you can manage. So just be organized, prioritize and have the ability to do what you love and to balance it out. At the end of the day, that's all that matters. Yeah, so like I was saying, so we came all the way from there, we took the bikes in. It was a little bit hectic because there's, a, there's too much sand. We ended up slipping quite a bit. So if you can see, we came all the way down here. It's definitely a beautiful view. Had a lot of fun. Did slip quite a bit. Just worried that I would fall off this ledge or rather this small cliff. Hey, what's up guys? It's day three. I'm on my way back to Bangalore where we climbed all the way on top. Our bikes are parked right at the bottom. Look at this beautiful view. It's amazing. I'm really, really excited. The weather is amazing. It's a perfect day for this kind of activity. It's amazing. Alright, anyway, I wish I had those clamps on my bike so I could capture the entire journey and share what I'm seeing with you guys. Okay, either way, uh, let's move on to tips on how to diet when you're traveling. First thing you need to know is you have to purchase whatever you, you require for the journey. As in to say, all the ingredients you need for the food that you're going to prepare. That's number one. You have to know also what type of place you're going to. If you're going to a place where you're only going to get vegetarian food, you have to be prepared for that. Or a place where you get a certain type of meat, you have to be prepared for that. So based on wherever you're going, you have to be prepared. That's one thing you have to keep in mind. Now you prepare all your food, the previous night itself, refrigerated. Wake up the next morning, have your breakfast, take out your meals, like for example, 
what I did. I woke up in the morning, had my first meal. I, co I cooked up some eggs and oats. Second meal was at 8 o'clock, I think, or 7 o'clock. Then again, I had like three or four consecutive meals till I, till I reached. And then make sure you always carry an extra meal because you, ne you never know what's going to happen or what you're in for, right? So either way, it's not going to make a big deal or a difference if you do carry an extra meal. Because the minute you reach, you're going to put it back in the fridge. So keep that in mind, guys. Carry extra food because you will need it sometime or the other. Also, make sure that you find a fridge. Most important. Like, for example, when I used to work, what I used to do is I used to prepare my food in the morning, go straight to work. The minute I enter work, I would keep all my food in the fridge. So this is what you do. And in case you're going for a really long term, like a long journey, like somewhere probably out of the country or for 24 hour journey, you take a bag of, uh, what do you say, like a cooling bag, a bag with these ice packs where you can put your food in these shelves. So it's like a mini portable refrigerator. That's also one more thing that will come in handy. Also, most importantly, here is when uh, your protein shakes and your protein bars come in most handy. Because these kind of trips, you don't know when you're going to stop or when you can have a meal. So convenience is most important. Take a scoop, shake it, put some water, you're done. Uh, take a bar, open it, eat it like a bar of Snickers, it's that easy. So it's most convenient. Anyway guys, so we're heading all the way on top. A lot more higher. You have a temple over there. I don't think I can shoot a video over there. Alright guys, so anyway, I'm going to enjoy the rest of my journey. I will see you guys soon.